Hello, welcome back to Leaf's Odyssey. Uh, previously, we finished up, I guess, the main, the the original world, the original areas, uh, and now we're in the Tower Plaza. Oh, preview. All right, sure. We're at Tower Plaza, and uh, I guess we have like what four areas to explore. Starting with the Tower of Destiny, which is where we actually wanted to go. Uh, we also have Northwest, East, and South. The Tower of Destiny requires like a, a few keys to uh, open though, so... Yeah, and I assume this is a backwards... Yeah, I can only enter from behind here. Okay. Cool, which means I probably have to go in the other three directions before uh, obtaining the required keys to make it through. So... Yeah, just let's just get it done with. I start with Northwest, I guess, because we are going in reading order, as we always do. Hello, gatekeepers. Nice music. These are eyes, which again view you in the orthogonal directions. Ah, okay. Alright, and it takes one turn for them to fire at you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. How about I get through you? Oh, interesting. Look at you. You take time to cool down, I guess. That's what they want me to learn. So, uh, once you've, after you've shot, your beam goes away and then you cool down, which allows you to make one tile of progress. So, like this. Nice. So, similarly here. There you go. Oh, I need to kill you guys. Uh, okay. I did not realize I had to kill the eyes, but I assume it's similar to... Um, basically every other monster. Now we'll just repeat this over and over again, except not really because you guys are um, in the way of killing these guys. So let's kill uh, you guys first. Okay. There you go. As expected. Um, is the sound still too loud? I feel like the sound volume is still a lot louder than usual. Especially the especially the laser sounds, they're kind of loud. But all right, canyon entrance. We're entering a canyon of sorts. This is a a quick travel, right? So now I can choose to travel in one of two places, and we need a terra key as per usual. So let's head up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, yeah, you see me, you shoot, but I don't believe you move, right? The Angry Eye. Angry Eye can be killed by leaf by bombing into it. Yep. Angry Eye primes an attack when it sees leaves in an orthogonal direction. One turn after priming, it will fire a beam, which is deadly to leaf. After firing, you will rest for a turn before you can prime again. Angry Eye beams are only deadly when they're initially fired. Right, okay, so I guess that means that after you fire, I can walk back into here and it technically doesn't hit me anymore. So I guess that's what they want. Uh, are you something I need? No, you're just a pillar. Okay, but I can probably do something like... Oh, the window doesn't block your line of view. Interesting. Okay, so I suppose I have to try to kill one of you guys first, although... I don't really get which one I might need to kill first. Maybe you. Yeah, you're like different from the rest in terms of direction. So this is probably fine. And I can go rotationally because you are not guarded by anything. Uh, I have to do the priming thing though. The, the cooldown trick. But I think the cooldown trick means I can technically get infinitely close to an eye without any other aid. Uh, unless it's a single hallway. But there you go. Alright, there are things in the sides. But I guess we'll cross the bridge first. Uh, ah, alright, we need three prime... Interesting, what's this? Oh, you probably activate this, right? Yeah, so I need all three of these to be unlocked to, um, to toggle this switch and then kill you and then get the key. Okay, so that's the ending section. Uh, neighborhood watch. Okay. Uh, whoa, that's a lot of eyes with a lot of windows. Detonation chamber. Whoa, what is that? Mechanic. Your explosion kills you guys. 
interesting. It's like a flashbang. Oh, maybe it's a laser killing the laser. That makes a bit more sense. Okay. So it's probably not, it probably has nothing to do with the bug itself. The bug is just killed in collateral damage. But the, the laser probably kills itself, I think. But what does that mean? Do I want to attract you? I feel like trying to attract you would cause you to die though. That is not unless I... Oh, you don't shoot because of this lamppost. I did not realize that. Cool. Which does allow me to kill you. Cool. And that... Wait. Oh, it's not the lamppost, it's the grass. I couldn't even tell. But the grass conceals me from your line of sight, which I could have seen from the um, indication. Okay. So that's probably not a good idea, but... I need to get... This guy? But you get killed though. Which is not good. I need you to like, die when you're here or something like that. Um, okay. So I probably have to walk past here. No. Oh, because there's no cover here. Hmm. Okay. Well, how else can I attract you to move? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, there's no real way to do that, right? Yeah, uh... Okay, I think it's something that I don't yet understand. Because there's no other way I can kill you. Right, so it has to be the bomb. I have to somehow move the bomb. And I'm pretty sure the grass... This is, this is definitely the first step. Unless it's not. In which case... What else could I even do then, without killing the bug? Oh, uh, mm, no, you still look at the four directions, I'm like... Maybe this is better? No, it's not anywhere better, but... Yeah, I don't think anything else matters here. Hmm. I'm, I'm really having a hard time seeing what else I could do. <laughs> there can't be much else, can there? Right? I don't actually, I don't know. Maybe there is something else I can do here that I'm not seeing. But I don't think I can pass through here without this thing dying. If I could, maybe that would make some sort of difference. But... As of now, I don't think that could happen. I don't think I can move you. So, like, the eyes are just there. Hmm. How to move Bug without activating you? It's like I have to... I mean, the bug doesn't move towards me. Yeah, it doesn't. This window is kind of messy. <gasps> oh, I can do that! Right, so I can kill you first, followed by killing you. And that works because this eye is no longer there to guard this eye. Cool, so now I can probably rotate you enough, hopefully. I do need to kill this eye first to make sure it doesn't kill the bomb while it's moving downwards. Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't expect- oh, do you move? You do, okay. Your line of sight is not blocked by other monsters. Okay, and now a backwards shot should just kill this bug which kills everything. There you go. 
Nice. All right. What a what a puzzle. <laughs> Uh, angry eye beams can kill other monsters. Angry eye beams can kill other angry eyes. They can kill most things in general. Okay, we have two bugs. Kill all eyes. And I believe I can't kill any of these eyes because um, they are hot coals, which I will die if I stay on it for more than a turn. So I have to use the bugs. Interestingly enough, though. Okay, I guess that can happen. I was like, interestingly enough, if I walk past, then won't the um, the, the residue of the eye beams kill these bugs? I can stand from far away and attract them, which is slightly better. But I also don't know how I would, you know, um, get these guys to explode here. Although I really only need one, right? Hmm, if I kill this bug, for example. Okay, so... Let's see, if I try to, if I did this, just attracted you over. It's probably not good. Yeah, I need to be closer still. Uh, how do I get you to be closer? I mean, I could get to be shot by this. If if you kill you, could I just walk in and kill you from the side? Or will this guy hit me in that case? I don't know. Uh, and I'm not sure if I can figure that out. No, that's not good either. How do I want to kill any of these eyes? Hmm. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Cuz I don't I don't even know if I can get a bug to stand like here. That doesn't work. This is kind of close, but not not close enough. Oh, that that uh, I don't know about this vertical column. Doesn't really feel very useful to me. Maybe this is useful. I can't push bugs, right? But eyes can kill bugs. I yeah, I still don't know if that's going to be useful or not. But I think maybe this eye could kill something here. That's an interesting thought. But how would I even get a bug to stand here though? And how would I transfer that idea over to here, up in this corner? I don't know if I can. Hmm. Don't wanna use chains again. I don't think I don't think chaining is very good here. I don't know if anything is very good here. Why can an eye... I mean, an eye could kill like... If an eye killed this one, I think I would still be fine, actually. But an eye... Uh, 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 sorry, a bug. If a bug kills this one, it would essentially be killing both of those at the same time. If a bug killed this one, I could walk in and kill you from the side. That's also plausible. But... Uh, see, the, the, the same problem applies, but I still don't know how to get a bug anywhere close to the eyes at all. Unless it's like a chain thing. But where can a bug be standing for anything to be effective? This feels like the most plausible spot for a bug to be. But then I can't even get it there either without like... ...really dying. Hmm. 
Yeah, I wonder how... How? Well, I guess I could bring you up pretty high and then attract you from below? That's plausible, I guess. I just have to make this awkward shuffle. And also... Oh, this is really bad. Okay, let's try... Let's try only having one of you be exposed at this point. I can probably do that. Oh, that's not a good idea. No, here is good, here is good. I can get it to stand here or something. So, awkward shuffle again. Boom. Nice. And I could hopefully kill... Uh, now this is fine, right? Because you will kill you. So I just need to walk away. And now I can kill you. Okay, there you go. That's how you do it. A very intricate set of steps. Okay. So let's get you all the way here in a similar position. So maybe a bit lower. Maybe a bit higher is fine. So, uh, yeah, there is good. Get you to come down. We do the same horizontal shuffle. There you go. Alright. And same steps. Boom! Alright, well this was a puzzle. <laughs> this is definitely a puzzle. Uh, yeah, this felt very bean and nothingness as well. Just a set of intricate steps that you need to do that doesn't seem obvious at all when you first begin. Alright, we have a courtyard-like area. Is this courtyard? Railgun. This, this, this level is called Railgun. Uh, I mean, I can only stand from the outside, so it's very interesting to see how snakes... Oh, I can stand in here though, I can alter snakes, but I don't think snakes themselves can... Oh, I think the idea might be to kill... Wait, what? Okay, I don't actually see what the puzzle is about. Hold on. Might be to use snakes to block the line of sight? Because what does this do? Not much. Yeah, you get blocked over here. But that doesn't change anything? Uh, Wait, hold on. What do you guys flip again? You flip all four. Wow. Um, Okay. What do you flip? You only flip those two. Ah, alright, so both switches need to basically be filled. Uh, ah, and I see. The railgun refers to the fact that to kill all of these enemies, I need to line you up in a row because you only shoot once. Once you shoot once, this switch toggles this block, which prevents you from shooting in ever again. Okay. Well, let's begin. Uh, I don't know how to use the switches to... I don't know how to use the outside switches to really get through here. But this should be good for... Yeah, this, this switch should be good for going back and forth between rooms. So, how do I arrange you guys properly? I have to get you guys out first. That's probably a, a decent idea. Uh, this, this looks pretty bad actually. I need one of you guys to be stuck in here. So, what I did before with this idea is probably a better idea. Uh, now we switch. Okay, and from here, I can't actually go in because of this. But from here, I can probably manipulate these guys to stand here. I don't know how to get one of the monsters to stand there. Uh, yeah, I don't know how. Oh, this is a little bit confusing. Okay. So let's try that again, but now I want to arrange you guys to... Hmm, getting you to stand here is a little bit of a problem. Hmm, I mean yeah, you were in there at the very beginning, so... Uh, okay, so let's, let's try working from the top first, because the top is slightly more... Uh, elaborate than the bottom. To activate or to move things... Okay, I need to move both of you down to here. That's fine. 
and yeah, it is fully contained. So it's really just two puzzles occupying in the same spot, rather than one bigger puzzle. That is, I don't know if you coming in here is a good idea. I don't think I ever get you out, cause yeah, uh, you basically get stuck in this left right side region. Sorry. So probably what I want is to not do that, not to go in here, but to wait for you to come and stay here so I can move you, uh, so I can move you in like this. But you, you're kind of stuck as well. So I, I gotta move this guy in, I, I suppose. Yeah, because now you're in, you won't actually come out here because I can't actually get there. So I can, I can get you out, move you down. Okay, and both of you are down now. Hopefully nothing changes about this anymore. I can work on these two snakes normally. Uh, probably want to work on you now. So these two snakes can probably just leave here fairly easily. These two are a little bit more confusing because these two want to go down here. But for this, I only want one of them to come down. So like, this works for one snake, but for the other snake it's not... It's it's really still sort of a problem. This other snake, once it comes down, I can't let it back up because I cannot stand here. Okay. So how do I want to do this? This is bad, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, how do I make any sort of change there? Once I do this, I'm going to try going back up over here to see if I can arrange these three snakes. Oh no I can't, okay. Probably have to... How, was there any snake here before? How do I get a snake here? Well okay, I, I get it. I probably have to... Yeah there's already a snake here, I can't... like... Going down is kind of bad, but I might have to do this. Yeah, to keep you in the same axis. Okay, so that's good for that snake. Okay, and we're good for 3 out of 4 snakes in the top, so that makes 7 out of 8. How do I get you? Is this something about axis turning? It might be something about axis turning. No, 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 don't get out of your axis. What's the difference between you and you? What is the difference? Because this is really bad. Yeah. So, yeah, so actually how do I get you out? I can stand here, but once I go back... Oh, okay, so maybe what I can do is when I at the very beginning, when I come in... Oh, but you are also stacked. I was like, using the stack property and this guy... See, because if I do this... Yeah, there's some, there's some discrepancy between them. I thought that I can use a discrepancy here to keep you one step back. But the same discrepancy also occurs here, so I don't really see how any difference can be made. Unless I can somehow alter the, the behavior of you guys beforehand. Can I? I can't even get in here, I don't know how I would. It's like, if I did this, the exact same thing happens. I can't really stop that. Hmm. Can I? There's nothing. There's nothing like to do anything about this, right? Okay. So this one, I have to do this first. Keep you in there. I can get this guy out. 
bring you down here. Yeah, we have seven out of eight. This is so now like okay, look now if I did this, that kills. Oh, that kills all of you. Oh, I can. This is repeat. Oh, this is not repeatable. But I can now do this and you. Okay. The problem is that uh, that happens and. Yeah, you, you're stuck. So, I need to somehow... Well, it's okay. After killing you, I still have access to this area, I think. Because, yeah, because this is blocked, but this is not blocked. So I can still get this guy out post-mortem. Cool. Alright, and I can swap everything, and this should be fine. Nice. Alright, uh, and now I can finally just kill the rest of the eyes and we're done. Cool. Alright, I didn't see that. You can do a lot of fancy tricks. Lots of fancy tricks. Alright. And that is this puzzle done. I don't know how much else we have, but we have another key here. I have an eye there, and eyes do destroy broken, uh, breaking walls. Alright, new properties. Angry eye beams to uh, activate toggle switches, which we already expected to be appropriate behavior. Uh, okay, so. Oh, these are bushes which are solid. Uh, okay. Can I. Can I bring you over? Probably can, yes. Yeah, I probably can. However, I think you die, right? No, because there's a space between us. You don't die. Okay. That's convenient. Uh, can I do the same with the other one? I believe I can. But I believe that I cannot uh, activate you too many times, otherwise I die. Okay, so what I want, preferably, is to have all the bugs follow me at the same time. Okay. So, uh, kind of handy reset. Yeah, because over time you crack more and more of these walls. When I walk in with all the walls cracked, you'll just kill me, which is bad. So I want to arrange these bugs to follow me. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know about you being in that spot. This spot is kind of, kind of messy. Although I guess this might be fine. Yeah, in fact, this is a decent spot. Can repeat the same trick. Uh, yeah, is this is fine. Ah, uh, that is not fine. I need to. I need to change your direction of view so that you, instead of moving towards me, will turn towards me instead. So I can do this. There you go. Okay, and hopefully this allows them to just follow me all the way. Follow, follow, follow. Cool. Alright, so let's start by having you stand there. You can follow me. That. I could probably deal with you later. Okay, there's one. The other one, yeah, I can just lure back here. Hopefully. Uh, ooh, that is not good. Alright, so I guess what that means is I have to, I have to immediately just activate this bomb. Uh, yeah, just. Do, actually, how do I do that? I can just uh, don't. I can just do this. Yeah, that works. Uh, and then now, now I activate you. Okay. Cool. Can I probably kill this eye while I'm at it. Why couldn't I kill this eye before? I don't know why. Right, because this kills both of us. So basically what I want to do is I want to keep that eye alive. So that that eye... Uh, so that this eye... So that this eye what? Uh, so that this can happen, they kill each other and I can kill you. Nice, alright, got it. <laughs> that was finicky, the final part was finicky, but I trusted that it will work out. Okay. Yeah, the main puzzle was solved, it's just the final 
uh, the final part. Short fuse. Cool. A uh, new interaction. Yeah, I can destroy cracked walls, but cracked walls still act as uh, obstacles. Nice. Alright, that's one prime key. It took quite a while to get, but we finally did it. Next, we have... Uh, we actually have quite a lot of areas. I don't know... I can't really reach this part. I assume it's from here? Is there something up here? According to according to this map, there is. Oh, and I guess... I guess because it's a direct... It's a direct uh, branch from the main area then. As opposed to being like an underground area. Cool. Uh, Alright, so I guess we'll go to the sides here. There's actually another section over here I can walk to, but I assume it's the exact same thing. Yeah, it's Forno. Warzone! Um, lots of grass to block vision. How would I kill you guys? I suppose you guys are going to kill each other, but this only activates you, which kills all of you guys, I would assume. It does. <laughs> uh, and interestingly enough, a stepping stone exists here. I don't know if it's pre-placed underneath. It is pre-placed underneath an eye. Does that mean that step uh, that eyes cannot flow above water? It might. It might also just be there for decoration purposes. I can't really access any of these eyes though. Uh, okay. How would I kill this eye? I guess I can activate you, which would shoot all the way here. Okay. How would I kill this eye? If I activated you... Okay, uh, does standing in grass activate? It activates none of them. So I, I can basically stand here and I think all three of you would die at once. Yep, that's good. Is that a closed system? I believe so because nothing else can really touch these eyes. Okay, this eye... Well, I mean I can just walk over. Uh, can I? Yes, yes I can. I can barely walk over. This eye kills this eye. But what kills you? Oh, I can kill you. That's fine. I can kill you as well. So I probably need you to kill you. I guess this would do that. But before that can happen, uh, I will need... I'll need you to kill up here first, which there is a spot. So right here. And then we repeat. Alright, this puzzle is a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Because uh, all the eyes looked very, very intimidating. But once we got the gist of the level idea, it turned out fine. Nice. Alright, Warzone. Uh, yeah, that was a very simple puzzle. Uh, we have a lot more stuff to do then. Council meeting. Council of the eyes. Uh... Okay, we have a monster block now. I guess we'll go here first. I don't know. We have two more prime keys to find. Two more prime keys. Let's see. Uh, these switches toggle these blocks. It's expected. This is a bug. And I guess this kills the bug. It does. Can I use a monster block? Well, I assume you... Oh, you, you're trying to run away from the monster block. Right, that's an interaction that I almost forgot. I assume you kill the monster. You don't actually kill the monster. Interesting. Um, okay. I thought you would, because your, your beam kills that, but your beam doesn't seem to kill monsters on a block. So this is fine though. Right. I guess I can kill you first, I don't see... Why I should though? I can push you into the water to kill you eventually. Uh, how would I kill you? Explosion doesn't seem right. How do I kill you? Can I really explode? Maybe, maybe eyes have certain properties with monsters I haven't figured out yet. Like I pushed a monster block into you, nothing happens. Uh, okay. Yeah, how do I kill you? Oh, this eye has to kill this then. So I guess I have to put both of you on here so I can stand in this spot. Alright. I don't want to do that though. I want to get you out. This is nasty to work with. Yeah, but I don't really, I don't really want that to happen though. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I see. But like, once that happens, 
Can't really, I can't really do anything about that, okay. Uh, so, how will I use this block? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, what was I? I was... Right. Alright. My goal... Sorry, I was busy doing something. My goal is to get this bug out to stand on one of these so I can stand here and get the eyes to kill each other. Alright. You naturally shy away from you. So maybe what I want is to let you go away so that I can get this to happen. But it, it always shies away though. That's a problem. Yeah, it always will. Uh, and I, this this doesn't work. Because I need this eye to stay alive to kill this eye. Basically. Um... Okay. Well, the answer is probably not this because. Yeah. Lots of things happen in this case. This definitely do doesn't work. The monster block has to be used as a blocking object, but it keeps pushing the mo uh, the bug away, so I don't actually know how, how to stop that from happening. Yeah, it always will. Can I change that? Maybe this is fine? Oh! I can do something like that. Hmm. That's an interesting idea where I... Where I do this before doing this, which allows me to push the block up without really activating it. Oh, okay. How is this useful? Well, it's useful if I first activate you to come over here as close as possible. Then I move here. Yes. Oh, no, that's not good. But now you're closer, which might be useful. Yeah, but the moment I push you down, you get, sh you get sh uh, moved away. Hmm. Maybe this is fine? Yeah, this looks fine. I can just keep doing this. That's a shuffle I can do. Oh, okay, look at that. It's a shuffle I can do. This. I just have to make sure to never to keep doing that to get it to shuffle over. And I can get it to come out. Ah, uh, that's a bad idea though. Ooh. So maybe not like that. Uh, how else could I get this to work? Well, before pushing you out, I could set up the monster block. I could have set up the monster block. Uh, up here to shove you away. To, uh, to get you to come downwards. Right? Yes, there you go, jeez. Okay, that took a while. Okay, can I please get you to get out of my way first? Uh, monster block, okay, monster block, you can do monster block things. But this should be good. There you go. Uh, oh, that's a problem. What? Well, it's a problem I can solve by timing you to stand on this block just as I walk past. Okay, because the problem right now is that doing this would cause this block, uh, this eye to kill this eye, which is bad. Uh, what I want is instead for the bug uh, to not run, to chase me like this. 
like this. Alright, and the bug will now chase me, which is good. I would like the bug to chase me and not run from the monster block. Jeez. Alright, where where do you where does this monster block have to be to not be a problem? Uh, let's actually just do this first. Okay. Maybe up one more. So that can happen. Yeah, that seems good. Uh. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Wait, no, that's not good either. I need to be further away. But like... Okay, well I myself would need to be further away then, so here is probably better. Yeah, this is good. There you go. Nice, alright. And I can just activate you, I can push the monster block into the water, and everything else is solved. Wow, this is also a puzzle. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? Uh, I need to lure... I definitely need you to come and shoot this guy, so I need to break all of these blocks. Is that good? Okay, well, the initial idea appears to be like this. But the problem is, how do all of you guys die? How does this one die in particular? Because this one I can set you guys to kill each other, right? Hmm, maybe not. I have to, I have to kill this guy first? How would I do that? Hmm. Well, what I could do is, I suppose... Come from the back. That may or may not be a good thing. Because once that happens... That happens. And now, I don't think you can ever die. Uh, okay, so I guess what I might have wanted to do is instead... Something that looks more like this. Yes, because that kills each other and this block as well. Uh, that's really bad though, so... I don't know how I would try and have that not happen. Uh, this is really bad. How do I avoid this problem? Uh, I don't know how to avoid this problem. No. Yeah, the problem here is that there is no nothing that can kill me while I was here, which is why that was fine. Same problem does not apply here. Uh, same thing doesn't apply here, though. Yeah. Uh, it's probably not good. Mm, I can do this to get all the way here. Is this good? Oh, this might be good for doing that. Yeah, okay. I don't know if I want to do that or not. And I can come back. I can kill you guys, which works. Um, probably can also get rid of you guys at this point. Okay, so now it's just this set I have to worry about. Maybe this is also fine, but not really. I have to get rid of both of you to be able to hit this, so... The problem is that how do I... Yeah, how does any of this work? Hmm... What? Yeah, this system looks very, like, guarding itself kind of system. I don't know how that would change a thing, except this one sees all the way here. That might be something I could use. So, yeah, maybe the point is to have this act as per normal, like this, so that you can be killed by you or something like that. That doesn't really explain this one. Yeah, I don't know how this one works. Oh, but... But, 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 however, however, this could happen. How would I kill you then? Well, you would need to be killed like this first. Okay, that's doable. And then this one can be killed normally by stepping into the middle. Alright, got it. So, we start everything as per usual, going hiding first to prevent any accidental injuries. Like that. 
And then coming back. I should be able to kill these guys like right now. Yeah. Uh, so. This is probably good. Nice. Uh, now I can activate this to make you die. And then I can kill both of you at once. And now I can kill both of you at once. There you go. Uh, that's probably not what I want. So I probably want to come from the back. I can want to come around here. Actually, oh, I don't know about that though. I have to end somewhere else. Okay, so then what I want to do is save one of these top ones so that I can walk past. Okay, so I can, let's say I save those two. Like that. Now I can walk behind you without getting shot. I can do this and now I'm on the top side. I can do this. Nice! Wow! So many intricacies. Cool. And that makes two primes. Alright. I think we have one more to go. I don't know if we have time for one more. Uh, uh, yeah, let's work, on a, let's work on this one later. We'll end off the episode here now, having collected two prime keys. Yeah, Leaf's journey will continue next time. But until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.